Hello and welcome to Truck and Logistics Simulator. This is by uh, Simula Games and is published by the dreaded, the dreaded Aerosoft. But Aerosoft didn't make the game. And Simula Games seem to be doing a pretty good job of updating this game. Let's just jump in and we'll chat about it as we go. So when we come in, you start with I think it was twelve grand. And we spent. Uh, you have to come in. You've got twelve grand, no vehicles. You have to buy a vehicle, and we have spent um, eight thousand nine hundred. Hence why we've got three thousand one hundred left on getting our little, what looks to be our little VW van here. And we've uh, given it a paint job. We've uh, spruced up a little bit of the inside, made our own. But this is pretty much the first vehicle you have to start with. Now, there are, or it says at the, at the time of launch, at the time we're playing this now, um, over 30 vehicles in the game um, to take on challenging tasks of delivering. But the challenging part about truck and logistic is the fact that you have to load your own vehicles, which is quite interesting, especially if you're someone who's a little bit competent like me. There's a challenge. So let's. Uh, Let's jump in, let's go get our first job. When you load in, it's got a little bit of bounce to it. It bounces and that's all good, that's all good. Um, the game itself, the game world, is actually quite nice. It really is quite a pretty game. And they're doing very well for it as a, as a low, I say low budget, low scale, um, truck simulator, vehicle simulator, driving simulator, uh, job simulator. It's, it's not too bad. I've had a little play with it. I've watched a chap called Ellipse Gamer. Go check him out. I've been watching, I've been watching him for a few years on and off. Um, his series on this really piqued my interest. I was quite interested in this um, a while back. And we'll, we'll try and talk about it as we go because we've got to fill in some time. But well, I've, I've been interested in this a while. Pulled the trigger on it uh, probably about a month ago. Spent a little bit of time playing it. So, yeah, I'd, I'd like to try and do a little bit more. So, the reason we've already got our vehicle as we started rather than be buying as we come in is because I know that I would need to remap the steering wheel or side panel. Got all that going. It's wheel compatible, it's keyboard and mouse, it is controller compatible. This is available on all platforms and the multiplayer is crossplay. But I wanted to make sure I got my wheel set up so I was good to go. So, hopefully, the controls are the same for me as they are when I'm playing FS and ETS and ATS. I've tried to get them in roughly the same sort of spot. So what we have to do, the the actual um, oil or the tips to it are pretty minimal, um, but it's all sort of self-explanatory. We do need to, if I remember where I start my engine, I said I'd have it all in the same spot, didn't I? There it is. <laughs> Right, so we have to drive into that area there. We've got to go get our first job. This is where you spawn in. I didn't show you, did I? We are a beefy little dude. We are a beefy little, t beefy little dude straight off the boat. Look at that. Awesome. Look at the shine on that truck, on that van. It's really quite nice. We'll be probably doing a lot of this in cab. I like to drive for, you know, first person. Cockpit view, they call it. We've got a little mini map there, we've got our sat nav. But to uh, trigger a job, all we have to do is pretty much drive in, come to a standstill, or come to a stop, and then we can pick our job. So we can only have a certain cargo with this vehicle. In the garage section, it did list at the bottom of the screen sort of what we could have. Uh, so we're going to start with something, I think we're going to do with something pretty simple for our first run. And we will just take what well, this looks to be a generator. So we'll take it from where we are here. Can we pan that out? We can pan that out a little bit. We'll take it from there and we'll run it up to here. Uh, this is uh, an industrial site or a construction site. Green is logistics centers. Blue is car and caravan transport. So if it's a, a blue and green ring, you can get both of these type of deliveries there. So let's let's take that on. So if we uh, just click on it. Oh, another one down here. Where's this one going? I think I'll take the first one. It's got a little bit more of a route to it. Uh, we'll take that on. And uh, does it tell us the payment? It is. It is. No. 
This is reward 3,000 credits. So it's uh, <laughs> 1,100 per kilometer. So we'll, we'll tick that. Then after a little, a little load screen for this one, because it is just a trailed, all we have to do, start the engine again. It does like to pop you out, pop you out cab. So if we get moving, then we have to back up onto it. I can't remember if we can see out the back of this. We can. Can we can? Because I'm going to need that. Ooh, stick our head out the window. That's all right. If I can stick my head out the window, I'm pretty good. So, we... Ooh. Ooh, easy, easy. We've got the T for attached, but it should work on A. Put your head straight. I can't recall now if there was a reset your head button. So we'll, we'll find out. But we'll head out. We'll head out and have a little look. We'll try and do a little bit out of cab so you can see the environment. Now, there are... Oh, I may have... Oh, I have. There you go. That'll make it a bit smoother for you guys. More of a challenge for me to put it on the stick. Sorry, mate. I am uh, I'm coming at me. Not quite sure where the line is for this light. Oh, that is it. That's the thing. It isn't easy to necessarily uh, see the lights from the in-cab point. The lights aren't best situated. You sometimes have to sort of seat yourselves back a little bit. The volume on this is really loud. <laughs> While we wait at these lights, just going to hop into the options and uh, turn that down a little bit. It's proper loud. Hopefully it'll be a little bit easier on the ears now. Because I've got my pods in. Can't turn it down on my headset. <laughs> That's what I'd normally do. And then adjust it in the inner. But we'll do it this way. So. Our towns and seas aren't named. We don't have names. Um, so these are anywhere. Not that I've seen. Unless there's a signpost about that tells us where we are. Um, I've not really noticed anything. Now the controls, I have had a little fiddle with them, obviously, to get how I like them. And I've managed to get it pretty smooth. Nice. <laughs> yes, it's pretty smooth. Um, Ellipse Gamer, who I watch, I think when he first played it, he played it with a wheel and it wasn't very smooth at all. You have to really adjust your sliders and get your spots right. But it seems to be okay at the minute. Uh, but he's he's playing his on controller. I didn't want to do that. Uh, but quite recently there was uh, a controls update and a lot of fixes to it and adjustments. And the wheel now seems to be uh, a nice way to do it. I think I'm coming up here a little bit late. Now it is quite easy to get caught speed in here. It does have um, traffic infringements. If you run too many red lights, if you get caught speeding, speed cameras and stuff like that. I think if you have accidents and hit other vehicles as well, you'll get fines. Um, you don't have a lot of money. You don't make a great deal of money on a lot of these early deliveries. So you do have to be careful, which is always a challenge for me, let's be honest. But we'll try and do okay. The speed limits are in um, KPH. Uh, but you have to remember, they're a limit, not a target. There's nothing wrong, I think, on this... Look at this road. 60, 70 kph seems fine when you look at the uh, the scale of things and, you know, what we do and where we're going with the vehicle we got. I say they're, they're not timed. Not that I noticed. I'm not here. And... Yeah, one thing you have to take with um, truck and logistics is, although it says simulator, it's on the arcade end of simulator. It's a simulator, it simulates truck deliveries, it's got some true brand vehicles, it's got some made up vehicles, I think MAN are in here, I believe Scania, maybe. Um, MAN, I mean, any if any game has got vehicles in it, MAN will give up the license, they love it. But the varying loads that you can get are pretty cool. And the challenges of loading your vehicle is quite good as well. Um, depending on what we can get on our next delivery or our, our pickup, we'll, we'll see what we can do. 
to um, get something else, something that we can load in the back with a uh, pallet truck and such. There are also, I think, once you get larger vehicles and you can tow larger trailers, there are lo loading up uh, vehicle carriers. So if you've got a delivery to deliver, say, six cars, you have to also... Oh, is that there? No, it's not there. You also have to load up the, the six cars onto the carrier and then connect the carrier. The gears are the only thing that I will say. The gears are a little bit janky. Um, that is set to automatic, but sometimes I still sort of manual it a bit. So we're going in here, and I should imagine... We've got a little, a little dot that's come up on it, so it's over... Oh, I see it now. It's over there. The, uh, the green box that highlights. And that's where we have to deliver to. Now, I think it tells you what direction it would like it in. There you go, got a little circle point to it. But as, as long as you get it in the drop-off zone, it sort of counts. <laughs> so we can do. skills and I don't think you have to detach or well, you may have to I'm pretty sure you just sort of pull up into it and once it's in you're good like that as soon as we come to a standstill all was good so transport completed three stars um, base income parking bonus because we did all right extra 100 no cargo damage so if we you know if you smash up the cargo you do lose money uh, so we made a little over three grand on that click continue and we're straight into the action again next job so we can pick up something from a construction site and it will most likely be in my experience it will most likely be another sort of um, generator or transformer or something like that something that we can pull uh, we've got these. Where's this one going? We want something that's not too far from a different sort of site, really. I don't want to go all the way into the quarry. I know there's a quarry there. That one's quite a distance. That one's almost back to where we've been. I tell you what, we'll not take a job here. Um, I think we need fuel as well. There was a... On the controller, this is my only job, on the controller, there is a key to zoom your view. Now, I can't map zoom um, to my mouse or to my side panel, I don't think. I don't think it wouldn't let me. So, anyway... So that's not a thing. But we are going to go and try and get some fuel because we, as you can see, we're almost empty. It's a brand new vehicle. Only comes with, like, water tank. We'll go up a gear. We'll try and not <laughs> get those revs like that. I remember to be on the other side of the road. But I think if we head into town, we can go get some fuel. say the uh, driving I say it's pretty smooth we I've got it set so we return to center you have to find all this yourself at default it's pretty poor once you go in and have a little fiddle you'll find that the uh, the controls are so much better once you've sort of got it how you want it naturally I've got my point of view pretty much as wide as it will allow because I think in your car you would see across dash from driving I might be sitting a little bit too far back but we can adjust that again speed camera gotta watch out so I want to try and follow this round to the left looking at that well on our right we can pick up a cargo but we still need fuel so I'm just gonna keep going for a bit 
and uh, see if we can find a gas station. Oh, we've made it all the way over to the next city over. And uh, we've finally hit a gas station, so I guess we're picking up our next job from here. Probably would have been worth uh, popping into that uh, logistics place and seeing if they had somewhere for us. So there is a petrol station here. That's what we call it in the UK. A gas station. There's a petrol station. And that also looks to be a like a garage, a repair garage. So let's go and see about fuel. This is how we um, park, obviously. So we stop the engine, refuel. Uh, what's the price? So uh, we've got. We'll say dollars. Should we say dollars? Should we say pounds? Or credits. <laughs> 175 uh, per litre, I guess that is. Anyway, that is uh, us refueled. That's not how you park at garage, by the way, people. That's just how I did it. Don't copy Mr. Farquhar. You'll get in trouble. So can we come... I'm not sure if this is even out. I think that's in. But we're good. We don't follow the rule. Oh, alright, mate. That's what happens when you go uh, <laughs> out and in. Someone will hit you. The traffic aren't very good at picking up where you are as a player. They, the, the traffic definitely run on a rail. They are not looking out for you. You have to look out for them at all times. So it looks like we've got a pick up here. So we go in. So we'll see what we can get. We'll see if we can get something to stick in the back of the van. Get in the van. Because that is the big thing with the... Uh, we got, oh, we got a trailer. We can load the trailer up. Oh, no, we've got a cargo we can stick in the van. 500 kilos. Doesn't tell you what the cargo is, though. Unfortunately. It is delicate. So breakable cargo, um, but we get three grand for it, and we've only got to go a short distance, and then we'd be able to pick up another job there. So we'll, we'll take that. And after a short load screen, we get put in. <laughs> yes, this is us in our little forklift truck. Remember, turn the engine on. Absolute beast. Now, shall we try in cab? Might be easier. Might not. Should be, I think. Now, I, th I, th I think we've got back doors and side door on our van. So, you can, I believe you can get a double, a double cargo in there. And when you do, you have to load in front and back. Now, if I remember, yes, it worked. sure if I'm high enough or low enough at the minute to get in there. I think I'm underneath. Am I in it? Under, under it? There we go. We're on. Pick it up. Then we just stick it in the van. Load your own cargoes. There we go. So once it's in, drop it down. It will strap in, the door will shut, and then we shall teleport into our own truck again. How awesome is that? Again, start the engine. And we should be ready to go, although our sat nav hasn't popped up yet. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. Come on. We don't want too much jank. Perhaps if we pop into the map, will that help us? Hopefully that will then turn up. Is that even our route? I don't think that's where we are. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to go somewhere else. That is not the route for us. <laughs> there it is. There we go. 
sort itself out. We shall follow. We'll see where it goes. There we go. Nothing like a giveaway, is there? Nothing like a giveaway. <laughs> I'm going to fit in real well in this town. <laughs> Right away goes to whoever's got the biggest balls. <laughs> That's a cojones. He was sitting at green, I saw him. I do apologise if you could if you could see me sweat this evening. It is profusely hot. Profusely hot and humid this evening. It is currently ten o'clock at night and it is still twenty eight degrees in here. Maybe more it is hot. It's that hot this evening that the fan that's normally pointed at my PC to keep that coolest face full on at me. <laughs> See, there we want to get a truck like that. Dude, you keep sitting at the grains. What are you doing? Next time we're going round him. If we can, hopefully no one's behind me. I'm surprised he didn't then set off as I pulled in front. <laughs> he boned straight into me. But yeah, uh, Chuck and Logistics came out about two years ago. No, it might be more than that. It's been out for a few years. Um, yeah, it wasn't received to great um, accolade or reviews, I don't think. It was very mixed on Steam. Then, yeah. There was that um, um and an ah with myself because it looked interesting, but it's attached to Airsoft, and it didn't get great reviews. So I sort of stayed I stayed away from it, but I kept an eye on it. Um, like I say, and then I saw Ellipse Gaming. I might put a link to his channel in the description, so check down there to see if I remember. And yeah, seeing how the fun that he was having with it, um, trying not to take it too serious as a simulator and just having fun with the mechanics of the loading and the delivering. Um, some of these routes aren't exceptionally hard, but there are challenges to them. Uh, especially once you get down into the quarry and into the pits and trying to do things down there. And then trying to manage this traffic um, that does not see you as well is um, quite a thing. So if we stop there, we can just about see the light. And it's just about having fun, building up the cash and upgrading your trucks. Uh, you can, I think once you've got your vehicles, you can switch between them. Uh, you don't necessarily build up a fleet, as in a fleet of drivers and other people earning you money. All your money is you earning itself. So, so in that sense, you can play as, as you like. Like, you're going to this place and you're just being a delivery guy or a removals guy. You know, you, you pick up those. Or you can get yourself to, uh, you know, a man truck, a Scania or something. You do the big deliveries or go off and load up um, construction vehicles and stuff like that. So th there is a variety of things. So th there's a lot there. I think there's even uh, a monster truck in there to own for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. And then on sort of more the, the fun arcade side of it, uh, hidden throughout the land are little jumps. Um, I did make a little short on one a while back. You may have seen it, if not. I've got to scroll through my shorts. I've got a shorts feed. Um, you can have a bit of fun at trying to hit all the jumps. There is an achievement for making one of the jumps and landing on the ferry in the river. So, you know, it has got that fun bit to it. But for, for, a, for a driving simulator on the wheel, it's playing absolutely fine. It's like, because I'm not, you know, racing to get anywhere, I'm sort of well below speed limit at the minute. It's quite chilled. It's quite a fun little time. Do three or four of these in the evening to unwind. That sounds like a good time to me. There we can, put our foot down, we can go 130. But I bet you, as soon as I pick up speed, we'll get a, a reduced speed sign, obviously. And then there will be a camera right on it. Now, from what I've seen, there isn't a great variety in 
the cities as you go through them. I haven't been everywhere. I've just done a few little jobs, reset the profile, done a few little jobs, and then reset the profile for this. But they do look very much alike. But they they work as a city hub or or whatever to go and do these things. It's so warm. I do apologise. We do have a little horn here somewhere. There we go. Knew I had one. Uh, we've got lights, um, wipers. We do get weather. There is a day scale within the game. I've slowed it right down. You can slow that down. I'll show you. I'll show you the feature. Here we go. So we've got uh, day speed. Um, it's set as dynamic, so it will continue on. It's not fixed. And you have time of day, so it's now five o'clock in the evening. But if it gets to the night and you don't want to do night runs, you don't want to play through the night, you want to simulate sleep. There's not a sleep function, but you want to simulate sleep. You just drag it around to the morning again. So you don't have to constantly drive at night. We'll go back to wherever we were. It was like 5.13 or something, wasn't it? So, yeah, it's, it's got that. That's not bad, I don't think. I think it's a nifty little way of doing it. Like I say, the the game is on all platforms. You know, it's it's built, I believe, as as with many of the Aerosoft games and the smaller simulator games, built with um, console in mind, the console market. Tailor into that because, you know, a game is going to have to be pretty special to compete with um, ETS or ATS. So adding and offering something different. Whoa, he's quick, he's quick. Oh, oh mate. <laughs> oh dear. Insane traffic. Robert took us out. I bet that's that's bummed our cargo. <laughs> How quick was he going? That's mad. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Mental. Right, so we're dropping our cargo off here. <laughs> um Shall we uh, we'll try and back in if we can? Wonder if that'll work with the traffic behind us. Will that work with traffic behind us? We'll try. I don't know how how big or bad that collision was, but that was that was quite something, wasn't it? One percent cargo damage. It was flying around there. Did not attempt to slow down. Like I say, traffic does not detect a player, but that's. Uh, but it lost $16 minus 2 XP. Now we gain an XP. I haven't seen a real level function yet. So let's just have a little look in for that. So yeah, as I'm here, as I'm here, I'm not quite sure whether it's um, level is what's going to unlock. If we go to... I think that's probably jumped us to our garage. Weather, money. Uh, these are the vehicles. I'll quickly run through some vehicles that we've got as well. Or not that we've got them, but the way you can get. So we've got cars. So you can use a car to do your cargo deliveries with. So you just attach in small trailers and, and doing such things. So these are the sort of vehicles that we've got. A lot of, um, you know, not vehicle vehicles. But that's, you know, if you want to do that, you can. You build up a fleet of executive motors, uh, pickups. Just the two. Got the minivan. So this is what I've got. Um, and you've got another one. It's like a VW as well here. VW, not VW. The panel van, also known as the tranny van. So we've got two options for that. Then you've got the drop sides. They really should have tried to get the VW um, brand in license. This is clearly what they are. It's a nice nice one that uh, and um, they're, they're, they're not cheap but they're 21 grand so it's doable you can do a few jobs get yourself 21 grand and get yourself a drop side then we've got the rigid truck the box truck so we've got some scania we've got dumper on the back we've got another box truck here for the man then you have just the the truck or the tractor unit Again, I think that looks like it's maybe supposed to be Renault. 
could even be Mercedes. Actually, I think they are, aren't they? I think it's a Mercedes. I think that's supposed to be a Mercedes Actros. That's what that is. Scania. Man. Man. You can take it for a test drive if you want. Uh, only 61 grand to get yourself a, a man truck. 50 for the smaller man. Scania, 73 grand. And then we've got the uh, the American style. Did you reckon that's supposed to be a Kenworth? I think that's probably supposed to be a Kenworth or a Peterworth or something like that. Peterbilt, sorry. But yeah. And then there are other vehicles. <laughs> Monster, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> but you can connect up. It tells you down here what you connect to, what different sort of missions, what jobs you can do. Well, I say we we've just got our minivan for now, and I'm I'm happy we're doing that. You can get uh, convoy um, stuff that you can get to customize. I'm not quite sure how that works entirely. I sure I saw Ellipse do that, so I might have to go back and watch that just to get an understanding. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's us. We have click drive. Where is it put us? Oh no, it's, we're back in the world. We are pretty much where we dropped off, I think. I think we dropped off over there, so it's just moved us over a little bit. So that's not too bad. But yeah, the we can pan out a little bit. We can have a look. You can come right out if you want. You can play like this. I, I don't like playing like this. I like to be an in-cab for you. But yeah, this this is truck logistics. I think I'm going to have a little go at this. We're going to have do a few of these. How frequent it's going to be, I don't know. Um, I might even find time one day when I just sort of blitz this and do loads because I have a lot of fun with this. I've reset the profile. Let's make some money. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find it when you're videos are live. As always, comments and feedback down there. If you've played it, have you found it? Is it something that's on your radar, something you're interested in? Or are you like me and do you generally stay away from airsoft games because they are normally pretty dire but it's this is similar games i believe it was similar games and uh, yeah they they seem to be doing a good job with this they're supporting it they're updating it they're improving it let's give it a go let's have some fun with it you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again soon bye bye